So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 Toronto Perioperative Echo Symposium. We are honored to host the 22nd iteration of this symposium, which will be conducted virtually over the next two days. We are Drs. Marcin Vansovich and Marcus Salvatore, staff anesthesiologists at Toronto General Hospital and co-chairs of this year's planning committee. Good morning, everyone, and good evening to our Japanese colleagues, because the time difference is uh, big. Uh, it is my pleasure to express gratitude to all members of organizing committee. This committee includes many past directors of the course, Annette and Azad, and many colleagues who presented before. This is unbelievable support. Um, their expertise and advice was crucial for success of this meeting in the past and hopefully today and tomorrow. I would like to express particular gratitude to Sarah Russell. She was keeping us up to speed, up to date, and uh, without her help, this wouldn't happen. So for the 2024 symposium, we continue to celebrate the theme of international collaboration in echocardiography, first introduced by Dr. Annette Vegas at the 2023 meeting. We have selected six curators from renowned centers of echocardiographic excellence worldwide, each tasked with designing a two-hour session that highlights their expertise and local practices. The selected centers for 2024 are Japan, Toronto, Halifax, IACTA, Miami, and Kelowna. This collaboration resulted in combining intensivist, anesthesiologist, critical care specialist, emergency medicine specialist. Uh, thanks to it, we will be able to have a very interesting discussion. I strongly encourage all of you to participate throughout these two days. And um, uh, for um, the interest of all of you, uh, all biographies of our speakers and curators are on our website. So the program encompasses two days of virtual lectures featuring a mix of live and pre-recorded presentations. Today, we will cover three topics, adult congenital heart disease, vegetations and masses, and aortic diseases. The objectives are clearly outlined in the program available on our website for your reference. And once again, the primary goal of this meeting is to share our knowledge, discuss among ourselves, and encourage future research and future discussion. So this meeting has been accredited by the Canadian Anesthesia Society for 12 hours of credit. Please remember to complete your evaluations in order to receive your certificate of attendance. Additionally, we receive endorsement for our symposium from IACTA. This collaboration with our European uh, colleagues is very valuable and I hope it will keep uh, developing even more. So now it is my pleasure to introduce Mark Atkinson and Fatima Maboud from Ardeen Health Solutions, our digital hosts for the symposium. We'll be working behind the scenes to ensure seamless execution of this meeting. Thanks very much, uh, Martian and Marcus. Really a pleasure to be here. Very quickly, if anyone has any technical issues, just make note of uh, my colleague Fatima's cell number here. Um, she also will be available as well as myself in the chat if you have any issues. Very quickly, um, so please just um, make note of the link that will be posted in the chat by my colleague Fatima. And we do encourage you to uh, complete your evaluations for the day, sort of uh, as you go throughout the session, so it makes it a, a little bit easier. You can also scan uh, using your phone, uh, scanning the QR code here. So we have various levels of uh, engagement and interactivity for you, the audience. We may have some polling throughout the day. There also is the chat function and the Q&A feature. Um, we do encourage uh, the chat function to be used only for sort of, you know, thoughts, commentary, feedback, or dialogue. Uh, we do encourage all uh, participants to submit questions using the Q&A tab alone, not in the chat, okay? And everyone's um, audio and video as an attendee is uh, disabled just to minimize disruptions. However, we do want to make sure that you are engaged and uh, can contribute. So that's uh, the, the two channels are the chat and the Q&A. So I think I reiterated that. Just use the Q&A feature at the bottom to submit questions. Moderators will monitor the incoming questions and we'll try to address as many as possible given the time that we have. 
and neat feature. You can actually upvote the questions that you like the most. So if you see a question you really like, uh, upvote it and it will move it to the top of the list and uh, increase the likelihood that it'll get addressed. Okay, so with that, I will pass it over to Martian to introduce 